Hello, brothers and sisters. Um, yesterday, I went to go get my hair cut, and um, the lady was washing my hair, and I just had this, um, like, this feeling that I needed to, to tell her the good news that uh, Jesus was coming soon, and that there was going to be a rapture. And uh, the lady didn't even know what the word rapture is. She she asked me, "What does that mean?" And I explained it to her, and then. Um, and I told her about the mark of the beast and told her that um, it's coming soon and, you know, and a lot uh, a lot of bad things are about to start happening. And um, she had a friend that was work that works there with her that was on the other sink. And she was washing some other lady's hair. And the lady that was her friend didn't, they, she couldn't hear our conversation. And um, so... With, you know, since I had my hair, my head tilted back and she was washing my hair, she didn't, she knew that I couldn't see her face. So what she did is she turned around. She turned around and uh, she uh, rolled her eyes or made some kind of facial expression at this lady and uh, her friend. And her lady friend was like, why are you looking at me like that? and kind of busted her out and then it, I of course I I knew what happened you know you know anyone would know what that was about she was uh, pretty much thinking I was crazy and was trying to like she I guess she thought her friend could hear us and was like rolling her eyes you know and so it, I'm not gonna lie it did hurt my my feelings a little bit but I know that it's okay you know because it's you know it's it's nothing I should take personal and so, anyways, um, after that, I, I I started to feel a little awkward, so I stopped talking about it, and then I apologized for freaking her out. And then, um, um, <clears throat> then uh, after that, um, you know, my son he he was getting his hair cut, so I went and sat with over there with my son, and then. Um, that lady that, you know, said, why are you looking at me like that, was the one that was had started on my son's hair by this time. And um, I told the lady, I said, you'll probably hear about it when I leave, but I apologize for freaking out your friend. And she said, well, what are you talking about? And I told her the same thing, which, you know, kind of opened up the uh, conversation for me to tell her, too. And I told her that the rapture is coming. She didn't even know what the rapture was either or the mark of the beast. So I just thought I'd share that with you because, you know, not everyone knows. I mean, I, I, I mean, I'm pretty, you know, I'm pretty sure that y'all know that, but it is, it's just weird for me because, I mean, I, I haven't met anyone in person that didn't, you know, know that it just until yesterday. I guess because uh, I was married to one, uh, one time to this. Uh, I guess you would call him a sat Satanist. I guess I didn't know he was. You know, I remember he was only like 17, 18 when we got together, and he was always uh, listening to that heavy metal band, you know, heavy metal stuff like King Diamond and um, Megadeth and Iron Maiden, you know. And I was a Christian person, and you know, I kind of overlooked his. Uh, I looked o I overlooked his taste in music, and I was just looking at him as a person. And, um, and, and I noticed that he was the type of person that liked to exaggerate things to impress people. And so whenever he would say stuff, I always second doubt, you know, second guess him. You know, like, yeah, whatever, you know, you're just saying that because you want to impress people. Or you're trying to impress me. And uh, what he had told me is that he was a, a, he was a, devil worshiper and that he met, he was meeting out at the lake and they do like sacrifices of animals or something like that but I never witnessed him doing that you know so I thought again he was just trying to impress me which that wasn't impressive and um but I remember that he knew because I started talking to him about the bible and he didn't go to church he didn't know you know he had he didn't even know the story of Jesus really all the way he knew that a man died on the cross and for our sins, but he don't know why, you know, he doesn't, I mean, he, he was just, 
just like what, you know, sometimes what people hear, you know, like, well, a man died on the cross for our sins, and then they say, well, there's been lots of people that died on the cross, and I don't, you know, like, they don't understand the whole concept. I tried to explain it to him, and then um, um, he told me that he knew about the, a rapture. I don't know how he would know that, you know, but he did, and in his, some of the songs that he would listen to would have, like, um, like they twisted the Bible scriptures a little bit to make their song, you know, stuff like that. So I guess that's how he knew. And so that's why I thought everybody would, would know, but I guess I was wrong. Well, anyhow, um, I wanted to go over something else with, with y'all. Um, this uh, Mark of the Beast, it's, it is coming out. There's, there, it could be, I mean, they're trying to really deceive people. There's a chip that can go into the skin. There's a tattoo. And then there's this other thing that I just recently saw. And there's no telling what or which one it is. But my advice would be not to take any kind of device or mark on your right hand or your forehead. Because the Bible strongly, um, is strongly ad- is against it, and you will suffer the wrath of God if you take that mark. Well, anyways, um, the Illuminati, and I know it's the Illuminati, because if you, like I said, if you go and you look at the, uh, the, um, what do you call it, the channel that this uh, comes from, uh, it's called Lie, uh, Lie Kill- Killers, you go and look at their channel, and you have a video that says, uh, the mark of God. Well, they have the pyramid sign. They have the all-seeing eye. They have um, symbols from the Illuminati. And the only way you would actually know that is if you study what symbol symbolisms are for the Illuminati. Well, this this uh, Illuminati organization is coming out with this thing where it's called the mark of God, and it goes on your forehead or your right hand and it act, they actually say that you will be chosen for this mark it's kind of blurry today for some reason I don't know why but anyways uh, they say you'll be chosen but these are ducks but you can't really tell it's night time you'll be chosen for this mark which I think is weird that they're saying stuff like that um, but I know why they're saying that you'll be chosen um, they want to make people feel special because they were chosen, you know? Yeah. It always seems like, even if it's something really horrible, if you tell a person that, well, I chose you to, you know, clean the toilets because I thought you was the best person for it, you know, they feel, oh, wow, you chose me, okay, you know, and they feel special. But whenever you just say, well, I want you to clean the bathrooms, and it's not like you tell them, you, you chose them for a certain reason, you chose them because... You know, you just told them to do something, you know, they don't feel so so special about it, and of course they're not going to want to do it. But when you say it like the other way, you know, they'll feel like, oh, wow, even though they don't want to do it, they'll probably do it. But um, that's, I think that's the motive behind the chosen part. And another thing, they say that you'll be pr- protected if you have this mark. Well, I can t- tell you probably what that's about, too. Because, see, during the end times, oops, sorry, during the end times, um, let me see, I'll take a picture of that over there. During the end times, um, you know, there's going to there's gonna be like a, a, a war, of course, like World War III is going to start up. And then on top of that, there's going to be, um, what do you call it, um, the Mark of the Beast. I'm getting distracted, sorry. I'm trying to get comfortable. But um, there's going to be the Mark of the Beast um, and the Fallen Angels, which are they're going to be called the probably aliens at this time. Um, well, anyways, the whole point is, is that martial law is going to be in effect. The New World Order is going to take effect. And when that happens... Um, you know, when martial law takes effect, there's going to be people probably killed in their own house for not accepting this mark. And 
a way for a person to determine who to kill and who not to kill would be with a special mark. You know, if they got a mark, then if a soldier's looking for people to slaughter or put in FEMA camps, you know, they can tell by looking at your right hand or your forehead if you're one of the ones they need to take and, and put in a FEMA camp or kill. You know what I mean? So, so the ones who have the mark, they'll be protected because they'll be overlooked and left alone. And that's why they say it like that, that you'll be protected. And then there's something else I was wanting people to kind of think about, because uh, I've been brainstorming about this. Um, okay, I went over in my last video about reptilians. Well, I believe that they are here on this earth, but we don't see them as a reptilian. We see them as, you know, human form. And see, what happens what happens is, is they, mink, they mix in with us humans that, you know, they could be living right next to you. You know, you don't even know. You, you, you don't know there could be like millions living around you. You know, they could be all over the place. And I think they have, um, they have like a spirit of the devil in them. And they can get messages from their, their God, which is Satan, whenever they need to do something like terrible, you know, really bad. Well, I, I have... I, I have a really good, good. I mean, uh, not a good feeling. I have a, a really strange feeling that we're under attack, and nobody even notices it because the way that they're doing it. You know, it's like we're we're already in a war, but we don't realize that we're in a war because the way that they're doing it is so subtle. Like if you think about it, 9/11 was an inside job, probably performed by the fallen angels, these reptilians, and the world leaders that that um, work with these fallen angels, okay? That's a, an attack from these angels, these fallen angels, reptilians. It's an attack on us, okay? They also have, you know, like they have their, their agendas, like they have plans that they want to, to uh, make come or make happen. So, of course, like making the American people feel like they're unsafe, you know, with that 9-11, you know, that's a, that's one reason why some people might think that having a RFID chip in your hand or your forehead is going to make you safe, and they're going to think about that 9-11 incident, you know, because of what happened. You know, well, if we had that, then there wouldn't be any, any you know, you don't have to worry anymore. And the same thing with, uh, you know, trying to take our weapons away, our, our our guns and stuff like that, it's because they know that we're not going to willingly just accept this new world order. They know that. And they know that we've got some really strong-willed people in this world that most of the strong-willed people that have a good head on their shoulders is what keeps this world straight. But they want to take and disarm them. So they can't fight for our freedom or fight for, for the weak people, you know. They want to they want to take that away from them. So that way, there's no way to defend defend us or defend themselves. And that's the reason behind that. And that's also, I feel, that is part of the New World Order, fallen angels, you know, attacking us. Okay. Um, just like having these, uh, what do you call them, um, terroristic acts that's been going on since 9-11, if you, if you think about it, it's like it happens more and more and more and more. Well, an older person that's not like, you know, a young teenager, but an older person that's 40 years of age and older, I would, you know, maybe a little bit younger than that too, but if you think back, like way back, there wasn't, there wasn't anything like that happening in the world a long time ago. It just all of a sudden started happening long time ago we didn't have earthquake after earthquake long time ago we didn't have gay people coming out of the closet getting married a long time ago we didn't we never i don't even well some people might have heard about the new world order because you know they might have there might have been some leaks or something but it wasn't as known as it is today you know and it's just it's just crazy if you think about it the world has really changed since 9 11 and there, people aren't asking 
the right que- uh, questions. You know what I mean? They're not thinking outside the box. They just like accept what's going on, and they don't they don't realize that hey, we're under attack. But they think we're under attack from another country, or you know, of course that was because the media feeds you the bulls, you know. But um, it's not. It's it's an attack from these fallen angels. They're attacking us, and they do it in a, in a way that we don't know to, you know, like we don't know that we're under attack, so we won't uh, defend ourselves. You know, that's because it looks like um, a, a random thing, or it looks like a natural weather disaster or something like that, you know, and when it's actually because of them. And there's a lot of them, a lot of these reptilians in the world. And I feel that a lot of the bad things that are happening, you know, it's just strange. I mean, what, that, that people all of a sudden just lo- lose their mind and, you know, start to want to go to a school and shoot kids up? I mean, it don't make that, it, I mean, that's what I'm saying. People need to start thinking a little bit outside the box. There's always, you know, if you think about it, there's, you can always find some kind of, of a, uh, a reasoning for it like right if you notice they've been trying to they've been talking about gun laws gun laws gun laws even before a lot of these these attacks happen and so what they're actually trying to do is give the public a reason to cry out to take their weapons away so that we ask for them to do it because we keep getting like terroristic threats I really hope the wind's not messing this video up I might move. I'll probably move to the car. Come on. Let's go to the car. Because it's getting kind of windy out here. And I probably, you probably can't hear, hear me too well. But there's the duckies. They're so pretty. I had a good walk today. I walked two laps. No, three laps. Sorry. But once I get in the car, I'll finish what I was saying, if I don't lose my chain of thought. Okay, the bitch. Let's go this way. Okay, I'm in the car now, so I cut back on the wind. But, um... What I'm saying is I know that we're under attack by these fallen angels, reptilians. They're the reason behind all these terroristic acts. They sit there and they wait for a command from their whoever's in charge over them to act out these terrible crimes to get us American people to, you know, cry out to the government for help or protection and, and all that when they're the ones that are responsible for it. I mean, I know it sounds crazy, but it's the truth. Like, for instance, um, we could probably, the United States could probably come under an an attack from, like, maybe Russia and China or something like that. But don't think it's not planned. Don't think that. Because it is planned. Because the United Nations, you know, they're trying to bring in this new world order and the the leaders of these other countries if you pay attention to what's going on in their country there you know it seems like every country every, the united states and all the other countries around the world are all suffering from um, an economic collapse and that's because they're trying to bring in a one world currency and that's the reason why all these other countries are having problems with their econo- you know with their en- economics or whatever their money or whatever you know what I'm talking about is because they're they're all really working together but see they know that if they just come out and just do what they want to do the American people and these other countries that have smart intelligent people in there they're not going to go for this one world you know what is it new world order under a one world leader the antichrist people are going to fight against it and so that's 
why they got to do it the way they're going to do it. They're going to cause them, you know, a lot of disasters where people are dependent on the government, and then they're going to um, call in martial law, you know, whenever a, a larger scale disaster happens, and use that to the their advantage to usher in that new world order and their their antichrist and the try and make it seem like they this antichrist saved the world kind of you know like made things better and everyone's going to look up to this leader as a hero especially after a huge and terrible disaster that was orchestrated from them it was planned by them but it's all to you know meet their agendas and they have to it's kind of like cause and effect they got to cause something for the effect to take place you know um they're manipulators i know what a manipulator is because i used to be like that when i was a little kid manipulating people you know i'd set up some scenario to get a certain reaction and that's exactly what these uh um world leaders are doing you know and people are not thinking outside the box and are taking what the news tells them as the truth and it's not and they're believing all of that <clears throat> and, and I, I just wish that people would wake up and see the truth um, this isn't the first attempt they tried it with uh, you know with Hitler but God wasn't ready for you know it's it's a it's got to be at a certain certain time you know on God's watch and all that and God took him out because it wasn't time and seeing even Hitler was trying to do a new world order and when you read the Bible there's been a few times like uh, what was it the the Tower of Babel you know they were uniting or, or something like that and God took that out you know, so this is an ancient ideal. It's not something new under the sky. It's it's an ideal that's been been there for a long time, and that's because it's coming from these fallen angels that's had the same agenda since the beginning. You know, since they fell from from grace, and that's why it's you know an old agenda or an old ancient you know ideal that they have. I know it's a funny way of, of seeing things or looking at things, but that's how I see it. And, of course, I've had people roll their eyes at me, think I'm crazy, you know, but I'm used to that already. People think I'm crazy, and, I mean, it don't bother me. So it, I mean, I guess that's not telling the total truth. I mean, it bothers me a tiny bit, but it's like for a second or two, and then I brush it off. You know, it's like, it's all right. It's okay. They don't have to. They don't have to like me. They don't have to, you know, whatever. It don't matter. I I just wish that sometimes I could, like, let somebody see what what I've already know. Like, they could plug, in, plug into my brain or something so I could show them and let them download, you know. Because then they'd, they would see what I'm trying to say and and it would wake them up. And then they would just be like, wow, thank you for waking me up, you know. But nowadays, everyone's fighting against it. You know, they're like, they're they're thinking it's fear mongering. Yeah, it is fearful. I'm not gonna lie, but that's why the Bible says that Jesus is gonna come back to save us. You know, be, because if he don't, there's a scripture in the Bible that says that um, before there's no one to save or something like that. Before um, there's a lot of uh, the, I don't know, before a bunch of people just die or something, or the whole planet dies. I wish I remembered what where it's at. I'm not saying, the, I'm not quoting the scripture word. I mean, it even close to the words, but I know the meaning of it. And that's what it's saying. It's like Jesus is coming to save us before there's nothing, you know, before they kill our, this planet kills itself because of these fallen angels. I'd also like to talk about Satan for a little bit. You know that Satan, he wanted to be God. And that's the reason why he was kicked out of heaven, is that he wants people to bow down and worship him. Because he, he got so prideful, because he was so beautiful, that he felt that he was worthy of praise. Well, um, 
Since he wants to be God, he was wanting to be God of heaven. But, you know, God's like, there's only one room for one God, and that's his heaven, and he kicked him out. You know what I mean? And so heaven heaven belongs to God. So Satan look, was looking for his own little piece of heaven. You know what I mean? So he's trying to make earth his heaven. And um, so what what's what happens i mean what's going on is that he has right now he has his fallen angels um trying to help him take over the world with this new world order okay and starting natural disasters um this what he calls uh, these uh false flag um terroristic events that have been happening you know so often it's crazy um you know, all this stuff that's bad that's going on, you know, that's happening because of Satan. I mean, it's, you know, to fill Satan's agenda. Okay, and then there's um, been reports, if you look it up, that they've been finding new new forms of animal life. And I would, I mean, if you think about that's what was happening during Noah's days. That's, you know, they were messing with the DNA of humans and of the animals to make a special species of their own. And see, Satan can't make or create like God can. But what he does is he borrows from God's creation to create something. And, you know, he feels that if since it's not, like, for instance, if you take a dog and you combine it with a, a pig, you know, that wasn't whatever it comes out to look like. You know, it's not a creation that God had actually created. He he would take credit that that's his 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 animal, that's his creation. Okay, and that's and then he then he would try to kill off all of God's creation because he he wants to make this his earth. And then the same thing with like um, with seed, like our plants and stuff like that. You know, what is it? GMO type seeds. So they take the seed that actually God gave us, you know, and takes that, take that, and or we can't, I mean, they're even trying to make laws where you can't use regular seeds in some places, and you have to use this GMO seed, you know, and it's a seed that's created, I guess, in a science lab, and it's not good for you, you know, but it is, the DNA of the plant is different than the regular DNA, and, um, you know, so there he goes, he's, He's got his own plants. His own, he's making his own his own animals that are weird. Um, then here soon he's going to make his own humans with this uh, RFID chip. Will change their DNA, you know. So then it becomes his creation. That's why whenever you accept this mark of the beast, uh, you sold yourself to Satan because you become part of his creation. You know, I mean that that's just how I I see things and I you know, it may be in a childlike um viewpoint or something like that, but I know that I was called by God to do stuff like this and I always asked a question, why me? Because for one I can't pronunciate words correctly. For two, I'm like the most slowest person in the world. And three, um, I have like social, I don't know, I, don't, I really don't think I have a social skill problem, but I don't really, for some reason I don't mix real well with people sometimes. They think I'm odd, they think I'm odd or, or they make me feel like they think that I'm odd. I, I don't fit in with them. And, uh, you know, and then I have a learning disability and, you know, and I don't really, I don't think I talk as intelligent as some people can talk, and you know, and I'm just like, why, why me? You know, why, why do you want me to share the gospel and and the end times and the good news with people? When, I mean, to be honest with you, I can't even get a person off the street to give me time of day. You know, you know, why me? You know, so but I'm gonna be obedient to my Lord and Savior. And do what he wants me to do, even if, you know, people might 
be rude and say mean things to me about the way I talk or the way that I see things or whatever, but I'm just being obedient to my Lord and Savior, you know, you know, um, I know I'm not the, the smartest person and no one has to tell me that because I do have dyslexia and I was a slow learner in school. I have a reading, uh, a little bit of a reading problem. Um, I think I can read up to like either the sixth or seventh grade level maybe, or maybe a little lower. I'm not sure, but it's not very high. I know that for a fact, but I, I mean, I can get by with, with the little reading that I can do, but it's embarrassing to read out loud, you know, to other people when you know you don't read that good. And that's why I was always like wondering, why me, Lord? Why me? But I got to do what I, what God told me to do. And he wants me to share this with people to help open their eyes. And um, that's why I'm doing it, to be obedient. Oh, and also I was going to say this. The reason why I'm not really uploading, I mean, I might upload a few um, videos that are like, news or something like that or you know something that's not of me talking so i'm trying to be really extremely careful with what i upload to this channel because uh i really don't think they had a reason to take my other channel down you know and i think i was attacked and i you know you know the way you get attacked is they try to use something like a video that you know that you're not in the video and they say that it's copyrighted and you know, you can't fight that because, you know, you just can't. But see, that's why I'm trying to keep it where it's mainly just videos of my own. And if they try to put a copyright strike on that, there's something going on there. But that's why, I mean, I, I, what I how I've been doing it is I up, if I have a video that's suspicious or, um, you know, I'm like, wonder if this will work. I upload it to my other alter, alternate channel, and I give it a few days, and if no strikes come up on it, then I might upload it to the other channel. But um, I'm trying to be careful, really careful. Or I might just upload all the stuff that could be copyright strikes, you know, somebody that attacks on the other channel. I don't know. But I'm just trying to be careful because it really, it, it was upsetting to lose my YouTube channel. And now I'm getting like, 10 or 12 views on my videos and it's like starting completely over and you know I lost a lot of my friends that I had on YouTube and it's really sad you know and they don't know where I'm where I'm at but it's okay you know it's it's okay it's all in God's hands but um I guess I'm going to go ahead and go and um God bless you all. Bye-bye.